Okay, so now I have to re-record the whole video because I forgot to record the audio. So this video is about the full aesthetic body guide. And here you can see pictures of me five years ago, three years ago, two years ago. You can clearly see I'm obese. I'm very ugly. My jaw is fucked. My mouth is fucked. Now I got braces so it's fixed. I have very bad um, eyeshadows, eye bags. And just like really bad hair, like what the fuck is this? What was I thinking? Here, very creepy eye bags, obese, like hairline doesn't fit to the shape of my face. Here, you can see like no style, nothing, fucked up jawline, extremely bad hair, nose very pointy, just looking obese, fat, and ugly. And that's how I felt the way I see. The way I looked is how I felt. Ugly, depressed, gamer, no friends, no confidence, bad mental health. So how did I fix this problem? Here you can see I'm leaner. I got like a six pack going on. And like very lean. Kind of like a V-taper. Not that much muscle, but like lean and like normal. A bit above average body. And then here you can see like muscular, muscular body. Muscular shoulders, big shoulders, big biceps, nice triceps, like six pack, um, nice back, and just like an overall better face, and um, yeah, just feeling better. So, how did I do that? Well, I had to lose weight, and it all started with doing like high intensity interval trainings at home during COVID. So, if you just want to lose weight, I just encourage you to do cardio and get into a calorie deficit. Instead of just eating 2,000 calories a day, you eat 1,600 to 800, 1,800 calories. If you want to gain weight, you try to eat 3,000 calories to 4,000 calories. If you're skinny or skinny fat, that can help. So then you get into the gym or lift weights or lift heavy objects or yourself, like your body. So calisth calisthenics, you do like push-ups at home or something. And after some time, you have to get into a progressive overload. You start with 8 repetitions of push-ups, then you can do 10, then you can do 12. After some time, you will be able to do 20, 30, 40, and your muscle fiber won't get destroyed as much anymore because you get stronger and it gets strained. So what you then have to do is you have to increase the weight from 5 kilograms to 6 kilograms and so on. So when your muscle is destroyed, you build... You um, When your muscle fiber is destroyed by... By heavy exercises there's like room and space left for that and you have to fill that room with protein and amino acids but basically protein so how do you do that you take the body weight minus 76 kilograms and multiply it 1.5 to 2 kilograms of protein each day so if i weigh 76 kilograms my goal is to eat like 150 152 kilograms very easy. Which foods contain protein? Mostly fish, meat, eggs. And then because it's very blunt, you can eat any vegetables that you want from your liking. Like I like I like carrots, I like cucumber, I like potatoes a lot. And you can just add them in and mix them up. Milk and cheese also has protein. But I discourage you to eat that because milk has estrogenic, so does cheese because it's made from milk. Estrogenics is destroy your testosterone, they lower your testosterone. So that's a whole other topic, but avoid milk. And then eggs, very good, very, very like, have a lot of protein and also they have, they have cholesterol, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it, but that basically creates testosterone. So try to have as many eggs as possible. If you can't get this much protein in while maintaining below your calories, if in a calorie deficit, protein powder will save you whey protein powder especially. But do remember as a supplement to so try to fill out your protein with fish, meat, eggs, vegetables, whatever. And get your get your calories in and stay like below or whatever goal you set with your calories. But if you can't get that, protein powder. Not more than one or two drinks a day. And if you can't get your protein in for whatever reason this is a great alternative. And then you start getting results. You're, you're here to start. 
you have to do the work by yourself. No one can help you. You can watch as many videos as you want. If you want to help yourself, if you want to help you, you have to take action. And you start here. You hear little Marlon, 15, 14 years old. He's like kind of demotivated, but he wants us to change something. So he starts working out and he sees some results. He's like, oh my god, I see results. I can actually change something. Then it goes down. You get momentum. You get momentum. You see the results and you're motivated. You get momentum. It gets easier. You learn. You grow. You build muscle. You get stronger. You gain some knowledge. You watch more YouTube videos. You get momentum. And then it goes down again. You come into a valley of despair. Valley of despair. You don't see results for like one, two months. You're like, oh, it's really worth it. This blah, 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 blah. And then it goes up again. You go up again. You fight. You fight. You keep going to the gym. You keep eating right. You keep sticking to your diet. And you see results again. And then this process repeats and building a body is amazing for all areas of your life if you look ugly if you're out of shape your mind will feel ugly and be out of shape if you're skinny your mind will be weak and skinny if you're in shape your mind will be strong and healthy it's not just about building muscle it's about improving your mental health improving your confidence being able to make friends, being able to be loved. Stop wasting time, don't be a gamer, go to the gym and it will improve like, literally all areas of your life. It will improve every single area of your life. And I'm living proof of that. I have realized this. People treat me much better when I look like this than what I used to look like when I looked like this. Like here I got bullied, I was fat, I was stupid, no one liked me, had no friends, I had no girlfriends. This version of me had two girlfriends, is still in a loving relationship, gets respect from other guys, is on top of the sports game, does kickboxing, is doing YouTube. And it's not, I'm not bragging, like this is, this physique is nice and all, but it's not the end goal, like not at all. Like I'm going to continue going till I look like a fucking amazing fitness model. But I can be proud of this. This is some progress I've made. And people respect me a lot more in this version. This version. Then, in this version, depressed gamer, you can literally see the look on my face, like how depressed and ugly I am. I hear I look like a fucking creep. You don't want to be that guy. You want to get to this position and then go even further. And this is a plan I've laid out for you. Calorie deficit if you want to lose weight. Calorie surplus if you want to gain weight. Progressive overload. Increase reps, increase weight. Eat enough protein. Fish, meat, eggs. 1.5 to 2 kilograms per body weight. If you can't get it in protein as a supplement, nice alternative. And then this is a progress curve that you will fall into. And remember, when you're down in the valley of despair, you just have to keep going, you will see results again, you will get motivated again, and then it's gonna continue going. And then one day, you will look like this. <laughs> and very happy, now jokes aside. Um, of course, this is a goal, instead of looking like this, but fitness is going to increase all areas of your life, but it's not, it's not going to cure, well, it can cure depression, but let's say it's not going to make me really happy, because this is all external, like your life will improve, but the friends are external, people treating you better are external. In the end, you still have to be happy within yourself and be grateful for your progress. So no matter where you are, if you're here or here, be grateful for your progress and appreciate that you found found a nice routine, found out about self-improvement. You go into the gym, you're making some progress, be grateful for that. But if you're here and you still have bad mental health and mental health problems, or here... Of course, this is better, but you're still not going to be happy. And the end goal in life, of course, is to be happy and fulfilled and live after your purpose. So working out basically fixes everything. But you still have to be aligned with your purpose and be yourself within yourself. So thank you for watching. I put a lot of effort into this, guys, so I appreciate a like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Give me some feedback and see you in the next one.